Why, hello there. Are you here to learn how to make some of your very own bath potion? If so, well, this video is for you. I'm Maddie and I'll be your guide. So without further ado, I won't waste your time. Let's get into it. So this recipe is super simple and only contains a few ingredients. It starts with our distilled water and then our primary surfactant, SLSA. So this will provide the bulk of the bubbles in our formula. So what we're gonna do is stir the SLSA in well with our distilled water here, and then we can transfer our container into this double boiler just to make sure everything dissolves. So, let's dump it in. And then, of course, a nice quick stir. All right, so once you've given this a good quick stir, just got to kind of set that there. I'm gonna pop this into our double boiler and of course just let this all dissolve nicely. Alrighty, so I'm just checking back in here, giving it another quick stir and I think we are at the right consistency. So when the mixture is no longer grainy, which is what we have here, you can remove it from the heat and then we can carefully add in our next ingredient, which is cocomidopropyl betaine. So let me grab my gloves just because safety first. Already now that we have removed this from the heat, I'm gonna grab our next ingredient, which is our cocomidal purple betaine. Now this is our secondary surfactant and will help our bubbles grow bigger and last even longer in the tub. So just gonna pour it in like so and give it another quick stir. Alrighty, once you've given this a nice quick and thorough stir though, we're gonna add in our next ingredient, which is our polysorbate 80. Alrighty, and of course, keep stirring. Alrighty, now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna let everything cool down a bit so we can add in our fragrance and then our preservative. So I want this to come to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll check back in with you guys when we reach that temperature. Alrighty, now that I've hit my target temp, which is 107, so it's pretty close to 110, so I think it works just fine. So now we can start in by adding in our preservative. So. For this project, I'm gonna be using Germabin 2, which will effectively fend against all kinds of icky germs and molds that might otherwise grow into our formula, which we don't want. So, I'm just gonna add this in and of course, stir. Alrighty, now that this is all nice and well incorporated, now we can add in, which is my favorite part, our fragrance. All right, so because we'll be using this in the bath, you want to make sure when picking a fragrance that it's IFRA approved for leave-on skin contact. So as such, I went with AFI's Cotton Candy. So it's already pre-measured in my bottle, so all I have to do is just pour it in and stir. All right, now it's time to give this bad boy some color. I wanna layer the colors in my formula so it represents our fragrance perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is take our formula here and pour it evenly into these two pouring pitchers here. And then we're gonna add in my chosen colors, which you can see right here, there's blue and magenta. Now it's time to go ahead and add in our colorants. So a little bit goes a long way, so just fair warning. That should be good. All right, now I'm just gonna grab my glass stirring rod and we're gonna give these a nice quick stir and we'll see how the magic happens. And then, of course, we're stirring in our booty. All right, now that we have our colors nice and well mixed together, we can add in some sparkles. So I'm just gonna add in about 1 4 of a teaspoon of eco glitter into each of these containers. So now that the glitter is nice and stirred in, we can start by pouring into our packaging containers one by one. So if you have a narrow mouth bottle, use a funnel or pouring pitcher with a spout just to make sure that you don't make a mess because let's face it, we know I do. I've selected two different bottle shapes right here to show you guys how easy it is to make this product look like a super cool potion for your bath. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna pour a little bit of our blue and then a little bit of our pink just giving it a cool and nice layered effect. And I'm just gonna keep repeating this process and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. And there we have it, that was pretty fun if you ask me. 
So once you're finished with this DIY, just make sure to pop your lids on nice and tightly. And now you have some fun multicolored liquid bubble bath potion. So simply pour as much as you'd like into the running water of your bath and watch the bubbles bloom. Now you can sell an eight ounce bottle of this formula for about $2 wholesale and $5 retail because it costs us only about a dollar to make, about 16 ounces in total. If you enjoyed following along with us in this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay in the know whenever we post. Oh, and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you can join our notification squad and we'll see you real soon in the next episode of AFI DIYs. I'm Maddie and thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.